ridiculous. Faces in I, I do have interest in the rocks. It's just, you know, sometimes was, the biology gets so I exciting. Ask, I was actually going to ask you a geologic question, but after the fish. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, sounds good. Got to know your place. <laughs> I think you guys Goodness. probably don't have enough <laughs> leash to get around to the far side, do you? Uh, definitely not right now. His face is All right, Bruce. Part. Yeah. You're on. Should almost be fish done time. Go back. Can't do that. So this Copy. Is this is a fish that we saw um, a couple of dives ago. This is a deep water lizard yeah, fish. Yeah, kind of set mollus. maybe from a distance. Um, they're at uh, one time replaced with the same family. It's shallow water lizard fish that divers see um, on reef edges. In the head. But uh, now they're yeah, in a separate family. <laughs> it's an ambush predator. Uh, sits on the bottom, doesn't move much, waits for food to come Not by. Uh, but if we were to look at the other side of this fish, we'd see that, that from the front, we would see that the mouth is full of rows of uh, some, uh, canine teeth. We could see some of them sticking out of the uh, mouth, around the, the fringes of the mouth um, in front. It's got the extensions on the pectoral fins, the parent fins on the side down the behind the head those spots. that are filamentous and uh, probably uses to pick up um, water movements and sense uh, prey coming past. Uh, this one looks like it's a little damaged, like something's bitten into it. It's got the poles on the side of the body. Uh, uh, some of them look relatively fresh, and it's also got, looks like, some, some punctures on the uh, one of the pectoral fins. So it looks like something might have attacked this fish and it got away. That's, that's an interesting thing. Uh, whether that okay. would be another lizard fish or whether it would be one Excellent. of the cutthroat eels that might occur at this depth or something else, uh, don't know. The body's pale. Oh, full body. uh, the species name, uh, Bolus, means soft because okay. this species uh, is um, relatively deep living and has softer tissue than shallow water lizard fish. The eyes are yellowish. Uh, uh, they have a reflective tapetum, a uh, uh, reflective but also light gathering uh, okay. layer uh, okay. in the retina of the eye. They're probably not good at forming images, but probably very good at sensing bioluminescence produced by other organisms that could be their prey or even predators approaching. Uh, Bathysaurus means uh, bathy for deep and saurus so, uh, for lizard, um, hence the, uh, the lizard fish name, but this is a deep living, deep water uh, lizard fish. Good. Have to just slightly off, but I'm, so, Bruce, I saw they had these long filaments yeah, on the, uh, the uh, fins. By the are I'm those sensory? Makes you more comfortable to hide oh. videos about. Yeah, very likely, like right uh, and they, uh, the uh, we don't know much about them. Uh, yeah. If they have taste buds, they, they very likely do. Uh, they, of course, would have a tactile uh, pur purpose. If something swims up and brushes against those, the fish probably has some sort of a re That's reaction right. yeah. where it just yeah. would like turn and bang. snap at whatever right would brush, yeah. brush past. Just finished up uh, with the right side. And then it also, and then uh, they also might that. detect uh, water movement in the vicinity vicinity of the fish. So yes, definitely a sensory function and probably related to feeding. There are also in large pores we can kind of see along the body that have sensory organs for picking up water movements and vibrations in a line along the body. All fish have those, but a lot of the deep water fish have them in open pits. So they're quite sensitive to water movement, rely more on that type of uh, sensory yeah. function than vision, really sight. They're also well-developed nostrils on the fish, so sense of smell is probably I important.